One of Kanye West's former collaborators is now under fire, right? So they dropped Kanye for all his things he was saying about Jewish media, Jewish people, yada, yada, yada. We're on our high horse. We're sitting pretty. Now, it looks like they got some child BDSM shit going on. I'm talking about Balenciaga. So the article reads, Balenciaga sparks outrage after depraved and campaign with toddlers, teddy bears, in bondage. Don't know what BDSM is. We know they tie the girl up. They put the ball in the mouth. They do all that freaky deaky stuff. So apparently Balenciaga is doing a campaign with children uh, that have teddy bears that have BDSM on them. And there's also another little wrinkle into this story. So uh, high fashion brand Balenciaga is facing backlash for an ad campaign that features photos of child models holding teddy bears dressed in bondage gear. The brand also used an image of Supreme Court opinion and child pornography case as a prop promoting a handbag. So just to get that back to you, toddlers, bears with bondage, documents hidden but you can still see so obviously i want you to see of a supreme court case about child pornography that was you have to think that's meticulously placed there for a reason because who's who would balenciaga is thinking 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 oh shit do the do the supreme court with the child porn and put it right there and then oh shit the bear got the bondage you got it wrapped up and they ain't got they ain't got the ball in his mouth but they doing it the, and it's a toddler who's whose ideas are these they should be ousted. Y'all ousted Kanye. I get it. Did you think y'all weren't fucking with it? Cool. Whoever's idea this was, we need to put them out front and center. Oust them. Get them out of here. Child porn Supreme Court. Bondage teddy bear. What's going on here? So in the, anyways, the photographer, the academic, and Gabriel Gellamina, Birdie, said the images were part of a project series called Toy Stories. According to his Instagram page, the images, which now appear to be mostly scrubbed from the global brand's website, sparked outrage from conservative activists. Uh, Penny Nance, CEO of Concerned Women for America, a conservative women's rights group, called the images exploitive propaganda. This is not about them being provocative and getting attention, Nancy uh, said in an interview with Fox News Digital. The entire campaign sexualizes children, period, is a child exploitation, period, and it feeds and normalizes a culture that is dark and depraved. So, um, what, what did this person say? So, Kelsey Ballard with the Independent Women's Forum echoed the sentiment. Balenciaga has no business introducing bondage as a perverse adult sexual practice to young children. Even the idea of bondage, like all the way to kink, it is a little bit freaky deaky weird. So even like for you to go to bondage to children makes you look a lot more what on what they said, quote unquote, depraved. So worse than the fashion house is using these images to advertise its products, essentially profiting from the sexualization of children. The desire to sexualize innocent children is a disturbing trend that has emerged in today's culture and that is twisted and disturbing example. So like I said, my main thing with this is like, it's obviously disgusting, right? It's obviously crazy because it's not even like just the bondage thing is one thing, right? A teddy bear with bondage and a child, but to meticulously place to where you can kind of see the outline of the Supreme Court case that has to do with child pornography. And that's like, that's what Balenciaga thinks is something to print. That's what we're going to do. After we just dropped Kanye wet, like we dropped Kanye, we're, the, we're good. We're on a moral high ground. We're better than everybody. We're doing our thing, guys. We got that fucking anti-Semite out of here. What's next? Hmm. Child exploitation. That's what we're going to do. And since we got rid of Kanye and his fucking anti-Semitic ass, nobody's going to even mention it because like we're Balenciaga. We're anti, we're, we're against anti-Semitic people, but no, there it's a shit storm going on Balenciaga. Now, a lot of people are, you know, kind of saying in the comments, like, you know, hey, I don't wear Balenciaga, so I don't support them anyways, yada, yada, yada. Like, I, I feel like as people, like, this isn't just a black issue. This is like, because everybody has children. As a people, when we see other people getting ousted, it shouldn't just be famous people that get ousted. Oh, taking away everything. It shouldn't just be famous people. It could be people who aren't famous that are doing bad shit in these fashion house places. Because what we'll do is we'll be like, outraged about it. They'll have an apology, yada, yada, yada the creative director or the PR person who let it go, whatever, they'll still have their job. They'll just be, we don't know who that person is. We don't know who approved it. Da, da, da. Nah, I'll stay ass and they got to go too. If Kanye got to go, whoever had this thing got to go as well. That's my opinion on it. If they got to go, he got to go. So another quote goes, they are trying to chum up attention by incorporating a Supreme Court child porn pandering case as window dressing. It's connecting child porn with their product, said Benjamin Bull, general counsel, for the National Center of Sexual Exploitation is an exploitive attention-getting device. So, Tucker Carlson was the one I first seen that spoke out about this. And I see a lot of people, because I, I follow like black blog pages on Instagram. Um, a lot of people in there are like, hey, I never really agreed with Tucker Carlson in my life, but 
I agree with him now. I see what he's going with now. I completely am on the side of this. So people are on the side of it. Um, it's not going to be a big story because, and I already know, I know it's not going to be a big story because there's no one famous attached to blame. Like I said, there's no one famous attached to blame. Valenciaga is a corporation. We tend to let corporations get away with a lot of shit. If this was, let's say Kanye West again, if, Kanye, if this is Kanye West, Balenciaga, buy him, collab, and we saw that, Kanye West would be getting killed for this. But since Balenciaga is his corporation, oh, Balenciaga, I need the Balenci and the this and the that, it's going to kind of, people are going to talk about it, but I don't think nothing's going to happen. Or we just scrub it, oh, it never happened. No, no, it happened. I don't know why y'all thought y'all could try to slide this in there. I don't know if you see, oh, how society is going with kids. and what, I don't know what you thought was going on. Maybe they thought they could just slide it by. But you can't just slide it by, buddy. You got to keep that shit away from everybody. And don't even think, because I guess it's not even just the, the bond. It's the, it's the putting the Supreme Court child porn window, whatever the fuck they said, in the corner of the picture. There's a, there's a reason they put certain little anecdotes in pictures in things. Because obviously, yo, naked, I ain't going to catch it. When they got these internet detectives zooming in on shit, they going to, we're going to find it. And we, and they, and they, well, not we, because I didn't find it, but they found it. And now they exposed it. And now Balenciaga looks like some weird child sexual exploitive company. 